Hello, Vinyl Community. Will Smith here. I um, wanted to take a, a quick second. Um, I got two boxes in the mail today, and I know that these boxes are from Metallica. It's their new box sets uh, that are supposed to be released as part of the uh, upcoming Record Store Day this Saturday. So I'm super excited. I haven't opened them yet. I've waited all day, so I'm going to open them here. Hopefully, uh, it provides some value. Uh, on Metallica's website, they did do an opening, uh, or, or through their YouTube channel. And uh, James Hetfield opened the one for Kill em All and Lars Ulrich for uh, Ride the Lightning. But they didn't talk through it, and, so, uh, and I'm just excited for mine. So, let's see here. It, well packaged thus far. Let's see. Let's see what I can do as far as getting it out. It's looking good here. I see. Ooh. Well packaged. Packaged with styrofoam. Looks like a giant book. This is Ride the Lightning. A great label on the binding with a Metallica M there. On the back, shows everything that's in the box set. So, very cool there. Let's open the next one and then we'll dive into them. Looks good, same packaging, just exact. Um, as far as the the overall shipping packaging, kill them all. Nice, uh, nice label here on the side binding. On the back, showing what's inside. We'll start with opening kill them all. Um, one, it's Metallica's first album. Two, not the one I was really excited about. In fact, the only reason that I got it was because. Uh, it's a limited edition, and I really like Metallica, and if I don't buy it now, I'll be upset later. So, I got this one. My wife is super glad to hear because they didn't, they didn't exactly give them away. Looks like mine's got a little, little bit of a rough spot on that one corner. This whole paper comes off. Here is the, the label on the bottom. They only made 30,000 of these box sets. Looks like mine is, at least of this one, is 900. And uh, 9,000, I apologize, 9,425. Probably couldn't see that there, but it's labeled there as part of the number. Uh, really nice matte finish, maybe a light texture here on the box. Whole box kind of opens up there at the top. The very first thing that we're greeted with, the book, nicely bound, smooth matte finish. Seems very cool. I'll obviously take some time while listening to the, uh, the music to go through and enjoy that, but a very nice, thick, bound book. Let's, uh, let's see here. What else we have? A Metallica patch. Kill them all. Supposed to have been remastered. I do have, just in my own collection, a, uh, a recent copy of Kill them all on vinyl from Blackened Records. Also a little download card. Let's see. Not in a gatefold, but two LPs in one particular, in one, uh, in one cover. Live at a Space Ballard, Paris, France, in February of 1984. And then, a very neat, let me get that out of here, a very neat Jump in the Fire picture disc. Both sides, very cool. Now, hmm. 
I'm a little bit disappointed about that. One of my CDs has fallen out of the case. I'm not sure where it's meant to be. It seems like through the shipping process, some CDs went and, and fell around. So here, that's the interviews. Okay, so this is my Kill 'em All. Deluxe CD, Live at the Keystone, so that CD actually came out of just a little cardboard sleeve that's there. We've got the Kill 'em All Deluxe Edition, Live at JB's Rock 3. We've got the, uh, let's see here, let me set this one back in. The CDs did kind of tumble around a little bit. Kill 'em All Deluxe Edition DVD. So black instead of white for this one. And this is Live at the Metro in Chicago of the 19, August of 1983. Uh, Kill 'em All CD and a little, little mini gatefold uh, CD there again, cardboard label, cardboard cover I should say. Interview and radios on CD as well as Rough mixes uh, from Lars's Vault and the Whiplash EP tracks, which is uh, which should be very cool. A lot of media there, and it will be interesting to go through that. Yeah, uh, still a nice. There's a uh, there's a cardboard. It's not even. You know, it almost it almost feels like wood down here where they've actually got some. Uh, some pieces cut out so the CDs can nestle here below. It's maybe not quite deep enough for all of the CDs. It's definitely anticipated that the records are maybe going to provide the weight on top of that. But overall, uh, pretty cool uh, release. Super pleased to, to have that. Let me set this one away. Pull out the one that I'm potentially the most excited for Ride the Lightning. This one is number 544 of the uh, 30,000, which is which is very cool. This is my favorite Metallica album. I told my wife when this was coming out that I saw this that this was not optional. The Kill 'em All box set that's optional in my opinion. But this this uh, of Metallica's works uh, definitely, uh, for me, set them apart as a just a fantastic artist and and somebody that uh, that puts out great music. I've been a, a fan ever since. Uh, same exact box style, um, everything there, same texture uh, and everything. Let's open this up. Very first, greeted with the book again. Nice thick book that is supposed to have a lot of unreleased pictures and, uh, or previously unreleased pictures and stories and things like this. Definitely something to enjoy as I listen to the album. Now, Ride the Lightning, remastered on vinyl, on, dead, uh, on blackened record labels. Um, the, the other edition I have is a 45 RPM 2 LP edition of this particular album. So uh, it'd be interesting to see if there's a, a, a difference in there. But again, my absolute favorite album of Metallica's, uh, which is very cool. Double LP, again, just in the one, in the one label of uh, Live at Hollywood uh, Palladium. That's in March of 1985. And the next, the, uh, the Creeping Death Picture Disc, re-put out. I mean, that's fantastic. It's very fantastic. Check that out. One little note, I'm noticing here that some of the sides, uh, they've got that spot where it almost seems like maybe the... the uh, the record jarred around a little bit and kind of hit the, the edge of the, the sleeve there. Um, 
doesn't seem, I don't see anything that makes me think, oh, this is worse for wear, this is going to be a problem. But interesting, because I've noticed that on a few of the records, just that little bit. And I'll probably replace all of those inner sleeves. Now, uh, download card here, which is cool. Now, this was supposed to come with posters, and it looks like these were actually, um, like headline posters of, uh, of gigs that they did. So, one presented by Camel. We don't even see that cigarette companies can do that anymore, at least here in the U.S. Um, so a couple of these, and these are supposed to be different. Again, is the CDs, uh, same type of, of material and packaging here in the bottom, a little bit uh, out of sorts, a little bit spilled around, but live at uh, Kabuki Theater in San Francisco, live at Lyceum Theater in London, live at Castle Donington, all uh, these are from 1985, one from December 1984. Looks like we have a DVD here. Uh, Ride the Lightning live at Day on the Green interviews. So not sure about the, the DVD there, but definitely something to watch. And then also, we've got the little gatefold of the CD, remastered CD. Again, blackened records. Uh, cardboard, cardboard sleeve, as well as the Metallica interviews, and then the demos and rough mixes from Lars's vault. Only, only potential disappointment is how those aren't quite recessed really well. Um, I don't want them to provide me less content by any means. I'm super happy with how much this box set has. But maybe not recess super well uh, for that. The last thing, this little book is advertised as a small notebook, a lyrics notebook. And it looks like what they've done is taken, um, taken pictures. And I don't want to break the binding too much, but taken, taken a picture or a scan of a notebook page and then put that here as a uh, something that something that you could have so I might I might need to break the binding on that another time obviously when I'm listening to the uh, to the music so overall there it is the two the two Metallica uh, box sets available or released specifically for the uh, the record store day and they are the official ambassadors of this record store day Overall, I'm super excited about uh, about this box set. And if anyone from within the Metallica's organization happens to see this, I would say if they did something like this, a couple of albums uh, each year in a really cool box set, and maybe even had uh, some of their, their EPs that have gone really big. I'm thinking of Garage Days or Garage Days Revisited. Um, you, I think there's probably enough people that, that might go and buy it. Um, so with that said, thanks everybody. Take care and, uh, and keep playing your records.